One of the things I really wanted to do on my trip is take an extended section of Route 66. So today on my way home, I'm gonna be driving the road from Tulsa to Joplin, Missouri. If you've been around the channel for a while, you know that I'm just finishing up my trip across the US. Since I'm doing a lot of reflection on this trip, I'm gonna take an opportunity to go over the numbers with you. For example, I've been on this journey for eight months. If you are new here, make sure that you subscribe because there's plenty of road trip adventures to check out on the channel. This bridge was built in 1926. It was used from 1926 to 1932 when another bridge was built. This is the only remaining bridge of its kind in Oklahoma. It also has a three ton weight limit, so we can't go. Let's go see what else we can find. almost 32,000 miles. I get 19 miles per gallon. That's over 1,600 gallons of gas. I don't get a lot of receipts, but I would estimate that my average price per gallon for the whole year was between 320 and 340, so that's over $5,000 in gas. It seems crazy to think about, but if you divide that between the seven to eight months that I've been on this trip, that's not so bad. I've also had five oil changes and one speeding ticket. I slowed down after that. It's officially taken me to 48 states, 50 national parks. That means 50 park stamps and 50 park sign selfies. guess I stopped at Planet Fitness about 35 times. I signed up back in May when I was in Maine and I've used it consistently as I'm on the road as a place to work out and shower. It was a good investment.
Missouri. I definitely lost Route 66 a little while ago. I'm back on the big highway, but we will find it again. We've made it to the museum, but it's not open today because it's Black Friday, but at least we found Route 66 again. One of the many adventures I've been on this year, which usually includes hiking. I decided this morning when I was coming up with this list that I've been to four major peaks this year. the process I've used two sets of trekking poles and one pair of very worn out hiking shoes. many times that it's extremely difficult to stay on historic Route 66, and boy did I have my hands full. As the sun went down, it became harder and harder to stay on that road less traveled, and with that last bit of light, I made the inevitable turn back onto Highway 40. might seem like a lot of miles. This trip has taken me to four oceans, two borders, and quite a bit of one of the Great Lakes. I really don't know what adventure is up next, but I am so excited that you're coming along for the ride. I'll see you when we get there. <laughs> 